Hi everyone, so this is the, the first vid for the second lesson of the second pack within the Integration 2 pack. <clears throat> There's not actually that much to it, it's quite nice, it's called the Trapezium Rule. So we work on the area of each bit, I think someone's just told, I'm doing monitoring today, so I've got like a bit of a, a gap, and I've got a band playing upstairs as well. Just let me stick my head out, make sure it's not my last person. It's not. We're okay. Uh, right then, so trapezium rule. So it's quite nice. It's like a, a numerical integration method. So there's some equations that you just can't integrate. And you're kind of like, you have to kind of do this other method of doing it. So let's have a look here. So if you look, it's got trapezium. Now the width for the trapezium we call H. And if you look, there's three trapezium here. So to work out the width of each trapezium, I do H is B, which would be the upper limit from your integral, minus A, which is your lower limit for your integral divided by the number of trapezium, which is n, there. Now what you'll notice is, if you've got three trapezia, or three strips, as they call it, you have four y values. So you have to be careful with that, with the wording of a question, to make sure it says trapezia or strips, and you always have one more y value that goes with it. So let's have a look at these pictures then. So this first picture, if you look at it, the top of the trapezium is below the curve, so it's an underestimation. Whereas for this one down here, the top of the trapezium is above the curve, so it's an overestimation. So there are things to think about. <clears throat> now this, this trapezium rule equation has come from working out the area of each trapezium. But then what happens is you take out the width over 2, and what you find out is the first one, which is y0, and the last one, which is yn, according to the formula. They only get seen once, but this length here gets seen as the right-hand side of the first trapezium and the left-hand side of the, the second trapezium. So it gets seen twice. So if you look in the formula... This y0 here, that's your first one. This yn is your last one. But all the rest of them are multiplied by 2 because they're included as one side of one trapezium and then the other side of the next trapezium along. Now what you can do, if, if h is the, the width, another way to see this, this formula is the width divided by 2 the first y value plus the last y value plus two lots of the rest of the y values. And that's an easier way of seeing this. Now this is given to you. And if you look, it's an integration. It's working out the area between the limits A and B. So everything I set up here and the top left there wasn't made up for B minus A over A. So let's have a look at a question then. So it says, give final answers to three sig fig, but do not round your working. So I do like five decimal places or exact for your working. Uh, the more trapezia, the more strips you have, the less error there is. So if you imagine if I split this first trapezium in half and make two trapezium, you can see that it's reduced the error of my area because I've got that extra bit that I'm including. So more trapezia, more strips, see what's see, more strips, more accurate. There. And the idea that if it's n trapezia, it's n plus one y values. So nothing new, all there, all good. Right, so let's have a look at this one then. So this question's doing the integral of secant x between 0 and pi by 3. So you know, if it had two trapezia, two strips, that I'm going to put, a, I could put a line in there, 